in this video we'll be going through the vwap breakout strategy and trust me when i say that this is one of the best strategies i have come across i will share the fine code with you so by the end of this video you will be able to create the sell and buy signal with the help of vwap strategy right so we will be able to create the buy signals and then we'll be able to sell create the sell signals so if you have noticed over here we are using a 15 minutes time frame right so let's start this first let's understand what the breakout strategy is and then we'll come on to this window okay so what is vwap in simple words it's an indicator which which uses the volume as well as weighted average price of a stock throughout the day so the major key points in this particular kind of let's say the indicator is majorly the volume and the price right now this is being used majorly by the institutional traders as well as nowadays vwap is very common in traders and what i've seen or what we all know that you know this is being used by the retail traders as well on the large scale and this is really amazing as well because the signals that it gives on on the real time it's really amazing so now let's understand what the vwap breakout is so when there is a breakout occurs and the price goes above the vwap line so we either we buy or and then if the vwap goes below the price we sell the stock or we start the stock right now this breakout indicates that there is a potential shift in the market sentiment as well and then traders either used to take a long trade or the short trade depending on the direction of the breakout but then even though this strategy is really good but always try to use multiple indicators or at least two indicators together to, to to get the confirmation i'm not saying that the the indicator could be wrong but you always need to make sure that there is a confirmation signal as well right so you can use the volume but in this indicator or the strategy we are already using the volume so it's always good to use either the moving average or let's say the rsi so try to use any of that kind of you know indicators now how to implement the breakout strategy we will just i'll just give you a brief and then we'll go back to the trading view window and then i will show you how you can create this sell and buy signal so enter a long trade when the price breaks above the vwap with a significant significant volume so even though we are taking so the vwap is what volume weighted average price so volume is already there but still it's always good to see you know how much is the volume because sometimes the window will give you a, a signal that you know you need to buy or you need to sell but it's always good to get a confirmation um, you know signal now second is the short trade when the price breaks below the vwap signal or the volume or the line again like i said you know i, I will show you in the next video how how we can do that now set a stop loss order just below or above the vwap based on the manage based on the risk appetite that you have but in the intraday trading i would say don't take more than 2% of of the risk but then there is also a risk management which we say that you know use risk to ratio reward so if suppose if you are risking 1 rupee then make sure that you get 2 rupee in return right okay now use volume confirmation to ensure that the breakout is strong and the sustainable like i said earlier vwap is a volume weighted average price but still you can always look for the volume signal and either then you can also go for the rsi or the moving average now let's go back to our trading window so like i said this is our trading window now if you have seen i would not i would have taken the buy signal maybe somewhere over here even though if you see this we have let me just reduce the size so that more of the signals are visible right so we have somewhere from 23rd of august yeah so today is what first of of september right today is sunday so the market is not running or, or moving but i think when you see this buy or sell signal you will be able to you know compare it with your own you know, this is a real time window now if you see we have two lines over here so basically what i have done i'm using the line window or let's say the line chart so even we can use a candle because candle gives you more kind of you know confirmation or let's say it gives you more clarity on what is happening in the market this is consolidation right this is a consolidation going on this is not a, let's say a, so mostly if you see that the price is moving between this resistance and then we have the support line now even though it's a resistance support line the, and this is majorly for the let's say so it was like what probably 28th of of august so though it's a consolidation but still i would say for the intraday day users it should not make a major difference because we we work on let's say if, if we are working on the 15 minutes time frame so it should not make a big, big difference but then what i wanted to show you was now what it is saying if the price is so 
the white line is your VWAP line and then the blue line is your price line, right? So whenever the VWAP line is touching or let's say it's going or, or going above the price, you can buy it, either you can buy it. So if you see over here, it's just touching, but actually it's not touching. There is like a small you know, change in the price, right? So and then if it goes, blue line goes below the VWAP line or so, sorry, the price line, uh, you can sell again you can sell over here you can sell over here right so this is how the the strategy works now like i said if the vwap line is going below the price or, or let's say the close price you have to sell it and then if the vwap line goes above the price you can buy it so what we say that if vwap is greater than the price right then we buy and then if vwap is less than the price we sell see i will again i will say that it should not like touching but it should it should crossing the price of of that particular stock right because it's a breakout strategy now i will show you the pine code how the pine code is written because the pine code is what is creating this signal for me right so this is the pine code now what it says that we have breakout strategy, I will share this code on my website, which is the data scientist.me, right? And then if you have any kind of doubt, you can always email me or comment in the comment section. So then we have the VWAP line, which is a white line. This is the white line, which is a VWAP line. Then we have the close price, which is black line. I have, it's not there because it's, it's black. So if I raise a red, red and then update the chart, it should come. But anyways, I don't know. The close price, close price, close price, close price. Anyways, leave it, right? Maybe you can check it or do I? Yeah, I am doing it. But anyways, so, and then we you have long condition. So this is the condition which says that, you know, the close price should be greater than the VWAP. And then, and the previous close price was less than the VWAP, right? And for the short condition, we again have the close price should be less than the VWAP. And then the previous close VWAP, close price should be greater than the VWAP. And then this is creating the buy and the sell signal. So like I said, if you want this code, please let me know. I will share it on the on my website and then you can get the link. Okay, so this is the Python code that we have. Again, how to calculate the VWAP. Like I said earlier, we are summing up the close, high and the low divided by three. So this is the price that we are creating. And then with the help of that, we are creating the VWAP. So what is VWAP? We have VWAP is the multiplication of the typical price that we have and the volume and then it's a cumulative sum and then divided by the volume and then it's cumulative sum, right? So again, the close price should be greater than the VWAP and then the close price, previous close price should be greater less than the VWAP, right? Uh, for the buy signal and then for the signal, it's the other way. And then here we are creating the window or, or let's say the chart. Let me run this and then maybe I can show you. Okay, that's too much, I believe. Uh, let me reduce the time frame. probably. We have interval. This is the thing, like see, I, I think it should be there, no? 15 minutes. Let me try the 15 minutes because let me reduce it. September 9, oh no, it should be 8 and then probably 30, 30 and then let's reduce it to 2024, maybe 8. Let's take it for like 10 days or something. So let's take it 20, right? Let's try to run this. I think it's majorly because of, okay, so we have it. So it gave us the buy signal and then it gave us a sell signal. So you can surely go back and see, you know, how this code works. And then again, so this was your Python code. I will sh share the VBA code as well. And then you can try it on the VBA as well. So I'll just show you the code, right? The VBA code and then maybe you can, you know, try this code. So let me open the Excel, the blank workbook, and then we have the developer v module so this is again the vba code excel vba code so you can surely try it right the logic is again the same there is no difference right i will again the share the same code on my website you can surely go through that and see how does it work but let me tell you again this is a great strategy or the indicator that you that you can try on the intraday basis and this when i when i see my you know my YouTube channel, wherein the Yulo people used to search for a specific kind of, let's say the strategy or the, the, the indicator. VWAP is one thing which is being asked very frequently or let's say looked for very frequently. So I thought maybe it's a, it's a good idea to share the VWAP strategy or the indicator, right? 
so if you like this video please if you like this video please make sure to like share and subscribe share it with your friends or colleagues right till then thank you so much have a great day bye take care